air. The battle ensues. Merkley's got it at the left circle. Tapped it left point. Joseph's shot to his screen. Hobbesnick loose in front. Scores! And that one was Nicholas Carey who got to that puck that trickled through Houston. Was lying there in the blue paint. Everyone froze up. And it's just 16 of the Canadians going to it and tapping it in. May also have been Morrow who got the last Hayden. stick on it. And starting his way with a pass in the middle. Picked off in the slot. Wide open chance for the Canadians from St. Pierre. It's gloved and held by Houston. Blue line tapped across to Marchand at the right half wall. Fed to the side of the net. That's off the side of the cage. Scrambled for and Mappin shot one wide. wide. Goal back of the tournament lead with three of them so far. And it's forced a turnover to the Canadians. And a tic-tac-toe pass came to the right side of the net where Lucas Houston's Stick bat. bouncing to the slot. Rolls to the blue line. Canadians shoot through his screen and Robinson just missed the net That's wide left. The Canadians are skating circles circles around the bandits right now. Centering feed one time right on Houston and a huge save he made there on the try by the Jeff Skates two on two with Parker Fu. Cockrell carries in down the middle, cuts to the high slot, end of the right circle, fired it right into point. Rebound. And the face off won by the Canadians to that far corner where Cockrell over skates it but he's backed up by Fu who skates to the end wall. Spins his way back to the left corner. Parker Fu has some space here. Dropped off to a pinching in McCarr at the left corner. Got around a defender to the side of the net. Cuts out in front. Shoots. Scores! <laughs> He set a moves by Kale McCarr, and you can tell that's exactly how the Bandits drew it up in the timeout. They win the draw, get it to McCarr, who skates down the left boards, dangles around a defender in the corner, and has all day to curl out in front and tuck that around a sprawling Colton point. Kale McCarr now has three goals on the tournament, and the Bandits tie it up. Yeah, Kale McCarr showing his hockey pedigree right Another there. Goal for the Bandits. Third of the tournament for number eight of Brooks in the Bandits. Are back in this 11 point shot through a screen right on. Rebound, Malat shoots, scores! Oh, and it rains, it pours. The shot came from the left point just seconds after the center ice faceoff. A good save by Colton Point, but Jeff Malat's there at the left circle. No one picks him up, and he wires one in to give the Bandits their first lead of the afternoon. Yeah, it was like the Bandits called that timeout on their own. It and just... all the way down to the Carlton Plays goal line, but Jeff Kitt was in range of that, and then it's centered by the Bandits to Mick at the left circle, and his shot's right into his final Saturday. They will need uh, everybody. Off the drop, puck comes in front of the uh, Carlton Place net. Malott gets to it, backhander, he scores! Oh man, is it getting bad for Carlton Place. Once again, it's right off a of faceoff. Jeff Malott collects the puck at the far wall, just cuts out in front, and I don't know if anyone even tried to pick him up, can it? He just backhands one, I think, between the pads of Colton Point, and the Bandits have a two-goal lead, and Jeff Malott's got it nearly. Baird carries in down the middle, put it right circle map and fed it across! He just missed big, but it came to Wellicanoa, whose backhander is wide left right of the point. net. Canadians swing one to the center circle, a one-on-one -on -one carry in for Van Horn to the left circle, got around his man, scores! While falling to the ice, Bryce Van Horn tapped it by Houston right and by Logan Mick. Fed left circle, a wide open map and waits, then fires right into point. Rebound scrambled for, and there's a big so dog PK. St. Pierre up the right wings over the bandit line, shoots its block by the skate of O'Connor. Rolls right corner to Jeff Kitt. Tied up by McCarr, took the puck away. Canadians are back to full strength. Bandits have a three on three rush. McCarr carries in, winds, fakes a shot, cuts right circle, shoots and scores! Okay, Kale McCarr is just making everyone else look silly right now. He carries in on the even rush, faked a slap shot at the high slot, then cut to the right circle, fooling everybody, and wired a wrister blocking the connecting in the right wing corner. He's pushed down there. Behind the play, a bandit got high stick in uh, Pereira, or rather Cockrell, and he's slow off to the bench, and again, no call. It's two high sticks, and the major penalty ensued. Now the Bandits carry in, Mappin got around his man, cuts out in front, wide open, backhander! Never got through, then Wellicola shoots from the right circle, it's blocked, and the whistle's gone, I think, because the net's off its moorings, and now we get it. Chopped it off the far neutral zone glass, Canadians take it back, and speeding in, Lucas Bat has it, left circle, shoots, and a great save by Garrett Hughes. Over the Carlton place line, left wing to the circle, shoots right on, rebounds there, and McCoy dropped it back, Malat shoots, great save by Point. There's Logan Mick, top right circle, winds, fires! Save, rebound, chopped his wide left to the net on a backhander by Jared Blue Cockrell. skates out to the center circle, put it left wing. Merkley carries in, got around his man, partial breakaway, and he had it poked free by a sliding Jared Cockrell. And gets pushed by Cockrell, spun away from him. Van Horn, bottom left circle, cut to the slot, rang it off the crossbar on a diving yeah. shot. Right wing McCarr, put it middle to McKechnie, tapped up the left wing for the carry by Lodermeyer, left circle, blasted it off the post. McCarr. Dropped it off there to O'Connor, back to McCarr, mid blue line, waits. Dropped it off again, McCrory on the blue, kept it in. Dropped it off again, Lodermeyer shoots to a screen. Scores! <laughs> 
They dropped it off, then they dropped it off, then they dropped it off. Derek Lobermeyer accepted delivery and fired one in through a crowd from the high slot, and the Bandits make it a 5-2 to two game. Yeah, and that's how you work the power play when uh, the, the opposition collapses. I mean, they have all four guys in front of the net, and they just work. McCarr put it left wing, Malott. Both of them could have a hat trick. Malott centers. McCarr fired it, and he just That's prospects here on this Carlton Place team. Fed across to the left circle. Bat shoots. Scores! That was Murray from the right circle. Fed it across, and nobody down to the right corner. Carrier skates right circle. Centered one man. Horn shoots. What a stop by Houston. Rebound still there, though. Poked at. Lodermeyer's down to the end boards where a centering feed picked off by Wellacottawa. Banked up the near side to the red. Wellacottawa chases it down. Carries to the opposing blue. Shoots wide right of the empty net. Right, right wing to Van Horn who skates down to the right corner and in behind the Brooks net. Centered one. Wide open Robinson shoots. Great save by Houston. Still empty net for Carlton Place. Centering feed went off a stick to Asselstein at the blue line. Shoots. Scores! Braden Asselstein with a slapper from the high slot. Tip pass Garrett Houston with a minute two to go in the third period. Carlton places within one. Baird chopped it away from him, gloved it down. Came back to carry a right corner though. Fed right half board, sharp angle, shot! Just missed the net wide left, and that'll do it. The Bandits beat the Carlton Place Canadians, and they will finish in the top two of the round robin. The tournament comes to an end early for Carlton Place, and Brooks now will await just when they'll play and whom they'll play. Yeah, weird game, but the Bandits get the win out shooting Carlton Place 40-27.